And that's why I'm not allowed in Canada. Oh, hey, Vegas Rangers. Uh, doing a little, doing a little something different. Today we have the initiation. Well, that's also because I need to <coughs> <coughs> do Eliza. And we're also checking out a few new mods. We have the Fedorov Avtomat, the World War I Russian Automatic. We have the unique version. The... Oswix with the unique custom icon and it does use a custom animation as well as a new ammo type the 6.5 Arasaka which is what he uses IRL and then you have the standard I don't think it has any mo okay so it has an extended mag and a stock upgrade I have none of those because I spawned in an NPC then murdered him and we're also checking out the NCR Doctor Fatigues is a cool little niff bashed uh, armor set. I have Hope wearing it. And you may be asking, where is Lunette? Oh, Lunette. Uh, she's called I Sent Her Home. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> but we are also joined today by Doc Barnicky. Thanks for stopping by, Doc. I know I haven't fixed your leg. It was a landmine incident with a burger and bananas. Don't don't ask about it. And then we have Goris, the Fallout 2 campaign. Don't point at Hope. We have Goris attending us. Uh, you just have to complete the. Uh, what was it called? Unfriendly persuasion quest for Marcus, and you have to not kill the Mercs. And then you can find him inside next to Doc Henry. And he'll join you. I am also getting so high up in level to where I might actually make another character. Because it's level 44. 50 is the max. Hey, Rebus. What's going on? Uh, to do this quest, I you do need to have good reputation with the cons. Uh, who are you? Name's Rebus. Long, long story short. Basically, I'm the guy that when shit falls around here... It falls on me. Hey, how would you like to help me out with that? Sure. What do you need? Excellent. None of these jerk-offs take me seriously. See, they're all focused on this whole the tribe is family mentality. And they're not wrong, but it's also a business. Diana's the only one besides me who understands that we need caps to survive. And we make caps by selling Kims, right? You see where I'm going with this? Some ghoul near West Side arranged a big jet delivery. He got his skims, but I ain't seen a single cap on our end. So, I want you to deal with it. I don't care what you have to do to the ghoul. Kill him, break his fucking kneecaps, make sweet love to him, whatever. The guy's name is Matt Graves. Get the caps from him, however you want to do it, and bring them back to me. So, to get Eliza, who is the next companion on our list, we do need to complete this, and I think I've done Oh My Papa. God. I feel like I have... Oh, yeah, I have all these. Um... Wow, this is a character who's leveled up through all these quests. Jesus. I'm gonna be sad when I have to let him go. Oh my oh yeah, I did. Oh my papa. So we have Robin Graves, find Matt Graves. Mm-hmm. Uh <coughs> Jesus. I feel like I got gassed. Hello, everyone. I'm glad mean son of a bitch is on our side. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, he is a mean yeah, son of a bitch. You're a lucky son of a gun, you know that? You could fall into a barrel full of moonshine and come up smelling like the sun. Oh, yeah, you know it, Ope. I'm sorry, you were marking on my 10 luck? Yeah, my pretty much 10 luck. So I think after a while... The, uh, 
the uh, Optima and its ammunition will spawn at Gunrunners. I just... Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for miles. Have you seen the banana gliding on the sun sign? Wild shit. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Barnaki! Come on, man. I know your leg's broken. Come on. Listen, I'll get you a doctor's bag. Eventually. Come on. He makes me proud, Hope. He makes me proud. Doc Barnaki's 45 auto. Link in the description. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Shilling for a Mod. I've <laughs> shilled for ever since I played it. Matt's place. <coughs> Hello? I almost shot the shit at Matt Grapes? Matt Graves. Who the fuck are you? Hey, Smoothie. Are you Matt Graves? No, I'm Ghouly fucking McSpoolies. What the fuck do you fucking want, Smooth Skin? Oh, then can I get an autograph? You ripped off the cons and I'm here to collect. Are you fucking kidding me? No. I don't know those leather-clad dildos a goddamn thing. I ordered Jet. A bunch of fucking Jet. You know why? Because I want to get fucking high. But I took a hit of this stuff. And then another. Then another! And you know what? I ain't fucking high. <laughs> the cons ripped me off. I'm not paying for a bunch of fake shit. Jet doesn't work on ghouls, you fucking moron! Wait, what? What the fuck? Is that a fucking joke? No. You're serious. I didn't know that. Fuck. Fine, I'll pay the cons. Here's the key to my room. The money's under the bed. Take it and leave me and Grapes alone. Thank you. Why are you gonna reuse in? What the fuck are you doing with all these robots? <laughs> come on, Gars! Oh, he dance? No, no, no! Come on, come on, Gars! He dance, he dance, he do the side dance. Oh, uh, for anyone asking, Hope is using the EM2 Jansen rifle. It's from my mod, Beth Trucadero. I would say download it, but <laughs> I took it down because people were having issues with it, and I didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! Thank you, Overseer. Also, this version of uh, all m versions of the Overseer's mods that I'll be playing comes from the Overseer's Discord, where it's been patched, updated to the high heavens, and Fuck Nexus. What's going on? What's going on? Here are the caps. Beautiful. I don't give a fuck how things went down with the ghoul, but you did good. Hey, stop by again soon. I got some more shit that needs doing, and you might be just the person to do it. Danka. What's going on? Listen, dude, it's... <laughs> it's a Monday. They don't pay me enough for it. Uh, <laughs> what do you have for me to do? As I take dramatic pauses. As a matter of fact, I do. And this one is a bit simpler, but also a bit more of a challenge. A couple of runners got stopped on their way back by some idiot in power armor. He knocked one out cold, gutted the other one with a knife. Thankfully, this guy is a fucking moron. Before he attacked them, he told them his name and where he lives. Really. His name is Brother Page. Brother Page. He's shacked up in some old bunker in Crescent Canyon. The door locks, but he dropped his fucking key in the fight. <laughs> he stole our caps, but from what I hear, he lost those pretty quickly. No, this is for our sister that he killed. The Great Khans look after our own. Makes sense. So I want you to go into his bunker and kill the little piece of shit. Here's his key. But don't get yourself killed, you hear me? I gotta go. Later. Listen, buddy. You're looking at me, a former desert ranger with a gun 
from World War One. You got Hope, Doc Barnicky, and Brother Goris. This man can bench press you and rip you in two. Ain't that right? Listen, okay. Listen to Goris. I know I talk... Wow, have I really not been down there? Jesus Christ. Oh. Come on, Doc. You ever get so close to someone, you start, start finishing each, each other's other sandwiches? sandwiches? <laughs> Please ignore the naked man down here. Wait, is that... Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> Wally. What the fuck? Why are you naked? What are you doing over here? Hey. 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 Answer me, damn it. Why are you naked? Why are you naked? I don't think we want an answer. Ugh. <laughs> oh god. It's Taco Bell's dumping grounds. Ugh. You know, they gotta sort... Whenever someone eats Taco Bell and uses the bathroom, they gotta sort that shit out in the sewers. Oh god, I'm stepping in it. Canyon Bunker. <laughs> I know. Shit's gross. Also, uh, the beef, uh, Optima requires sound enabler, and it says it requires the B-42 drop mag and one in the chamber, but you don't need it. What the fuck? <laughs> um... Hi, hussies. Brother Paige. Whoa, what the hell? How, uh, how'd you get in here? Uh, not like it matters. Listen, uh, Wastelander. You, you're standing in Brotherhood of Steel property. I am Brother Paige, the, uh, the Lord Commander of this outpost. And you need to go away. Why does your Brotherhood Bunker look like a shitty porn soundstage? Hey, fuck you. I, uh, I mean... No, yeah, fuck you, asshole. <laughs> I'll see myself out. Yeah, fuck off. <coughs> Just let me... Just let me... What the f- Um... Get him! Get him, Goris! Yeah! Murderer! Murderer? Hey, he's getting away! It does have uh, issues with. What the hell? Um, You're not that fake brotherhood retard. Hi. I guess it doesn't matter. Order was to kill everyone in the bunker. In my book, you ain't exempt. Hi, General Mills. Uh, I killed Paige. Don't worry about it. Hear that, boys? We got a confessed murderer here. Looks like we get to be heroes for once. Oh shit. Billy Nipples, Crazy Ronald. What's next, Johnny Sins? Ah, uh, Goris, help me! I'm sorry, is that Barnicky with a baseball? I don't know. Where's Barnicky? Come on, get him! Holy shit, they're taking a lot. Listen, cereal. There we go. Um, shit. Fuck. Yeah! Oh, is he still alive? <laughs> <laughs> There we 
Echo. Man, I love that sound, but that kind of does get grating after a while. Crazy Ronald? Oh, Barnicky, you're alive. Ugh, stepping through fucking... Ugh, Taco Bell. General Mills? Billy Naples? Cryptic Holotape? Patriotic iconography. Are these baseball players? One hooker, two hooker, dead hooker. A uh, brother page terminal. Do Marty. Marty Stew. Marty Stew. Does whatever Marty Stew does. Marty Stew. Marty Stew. Page's journal, entry one. I'm too lucky, like Jesus writing my dick lucky. Hey! You can't be me. I heard there were some prospectors chatting about how there was loot at the bottom of the stupid canyon. Well, if they didn't want it snatched up, they should have shut the fuck up, right? So I'm heading down here. Fucking boom, bunker. Fucking boom, bunker. How great is that? I went inside and there was some douchebag sleeping, and next to him was a fucking suit of power armor, like, for real. I figured he must be one of those Brotherhood of Steel guys that the NCR loves to bitch about. Well, I'm a proud NCR boy, so I did my patriotic duty and stuck my knife in his throat while he slept. Should have had... Should have been sleeping on the job. Bitch. <laughs> anyway, this bunker is mine now. Mine. I call it El Casa of Marty fucking Page. To think Casa means castle. I think Casa means castle. I think it's... House? Anyway, I think I'd sell... I think I'll sell the power armor, maybe buy some amenities for my party castle. And I... Oh god, I know I'll definitely spend a couple hundred on some ghoul girls to bounce on my boy. I can't believe how much cheaper ghoul snatch is. Like, it's cheaper and better in just every way. You know, everyone's got their tastes. Oh man, I'm a fucking genius on my way to sell the power armor, right? Well, it's just a pain in the dick to haul around, so I just popped it on. Much easier, right? I only had to fuck around with it for maybe five minutes before it opened wide, opened wide up for me. Just like all the ghoulies legs do when I tell them about my mouth magic. I can't believe some people think they need fucking training to wear this shit. What a bunch of retards am I right? Anyway, I'm halfway up to the 188 when I got an idea. I'm pretty badass and now I got badass fucking armor. Badass fucking brotherhood armor. Why sell it for a night or two of delicious ghoul loving when I could use it and earn a lifetime of ghoul snatch? Hell yeah. I heard of some crew straight from the NCR run by a guy named Norton. I figure, what kind of good crew would turn down a... <clears throat> uh, this is part where my genius will blow your f tiny little computer fucking mind, fully trained brotherhood brother. Haha, ha, if anyone asks, I'm Brother Paige, and I was born and raised by those guys. But remember how I said I was lucky? I'm so fucking lucky. I never had to bother with this Norton guy. I ran into some old guy, a couple of his goons, and red hair... Redhead... Redhead hussy. This guy was almost as bad as me, you know, but I got a fucking brotherhood armor. This wrinkly old bitch just had some metal spiky shit. He did have a bigger blade than me and a bigger machine gun, but that just means his tackle is less impressive. No biggie. He's like 90, so... Calls himself Big Daddy? And he runs a badass crew of gummy and crazy killers when I told him I was genius brother fucking Paige from the Brotherhood of fucking Steel and I needed to work. He told me he'd set me up. He told me to go to this place called Red Rock Canyon and infiltrate those losers living there. Once I was there with them, I'd plant some C4 and collapse the canyon on them. I do this and Big Daddy makes me fucking wealthy. This is going to be so easy. Yeah, I'm going to fucking kill me reading all this. Oh my god, you look exceptionally viral today. I'm amazing. I'm writing this with ghoul bitch touch. My Okay, I'll slow down. I went to that red rock shithole, right? I was halfway there. I run into these two bitch boys in leather. Turns out they, they're they called great cons, and I'm so lucky. Take a drink every time this guy says, I'm so lucky. They're fucking... They're the fucking guys I'm supposed to infiltrate. I chat them up, tell them I want to join, give them my name and shit. Good stuff. Then they tell me that they're big-time chem dealers, and they just finished a big sell to the fiends. These guys are loaded, so yeah. Fuck Big Daddy, fuck the great cons, brother Paige is your god, I kicked their asses, kicked one ass, stabbed another, whatever, and grabbed the cash, I'm set. 
I've used the cache to make my castle into a love bunker and the cherry on top, two of the hottest little zombie bitches I've ever seen. They belong exclusive to, exclusively to me, and let me tell you, the last three days have been a fucking row out of drinking and jet and so much fucking rotting nude flesh. I'm in heaven, I officially renamed this place heaven. Literally the only thing spoiling this is that big daddy douchebag, I found a bitchy letter on my doorstep this morning. What a sensitive little... We'll see that old man has. Fuck him. He wants to come back in here and fuck with me. I'll break his neck with the power armor. Oh shit, I should have these two rub themselves on Lube it up. <laughs> oh my god! <coughs> well, if we were ever monetized, uh, we're not anymore. Uh, it's you, Marty. Cryptic holotype. If you're holding this, congratulations. You've deemed trustworthy, or possibly you terminated the trustworthy person who originally held this tape. And now you're looking at it. In any event, you must be resourceful and universal. And a universally known truth is that a resourceful person deserves proper equipment. Included this tape is a key card that will grant you access to a location whereupon you will have the possibility of gathering this proper equipment, assuming you bring sufficient financial incentive, of course. If such an offer is of interest to you, examine the cliffs near the old Tumbleweed Ranch. If you have no use of this information, kindly insert this tape and key card. A word of warning, however, members and or associates of the New California Republic, the Brotherhood of Steel, or the Van Graaff family are not welcome under any circumstances. Informing these entities of this tape or the offer of or the offer on hand will result in immediate recess decision of your invitation followed by shoot on site orders please do not take advantage of my hospitality peterson dear marty oh god i'm gonna sneeze also what the fuck dear marty page aka brother page aka cock juggling thunder cunt you fucking half-witted fraud are you fucking high i know the great gods told you to fuck off and rightfully so you're less than scum which somehow puts one level above you that's an accomplishment good fucking job but did you fucking forget the whole reason you were trying to join them in the first place is because that it was in initiation to my fucking gang. I told you to get close to them and strike both their whole canyon to dust, but no, the only goddamn canyon that brother fucking Paige was interested in was the one between some zombie horse legs. And brother fucking Paige just wants to spend every waking moment with his head stuffed in that canyon, probably making all sorts of nasty ass slurping sounds. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Soon you, me and my... Brother Daddies will be staying at the Vanguard of Caesars. That's a har Kaiser. <laughs> That's a hard C same pronunciation as when I call you a cunt. Fucking Legion. Once the NCR bitches have been destroyed and the Hoover Dam runs right of their blood, I will take a full detachment wherever the fuck the Legion calls into your shitty little bunker. I will cut your fucking balls off, break your knees, and make you watch as I skull fuck all your zombie whores to death. And then once they're done i'll burn you fucking alive on a bed of coals because the quick death of an inferno is too good for the likes of you enjoy your little undead orgies while you last i'm coming for you sincerely big daddy well hey uh brother page at least you know he's also coming for you unlike these ghouls <coughs> There was another one, right? There's Brother Page. <coughs> I know, I think we got all of them. So, north? Tumbleweed Ranch? Totally getting off topic here. I'm assuming that's where I need to go. Hey, Lucky, why do we have ever, uh, why do we have a copy? <laughs> we have a community guideline violation. Oh, because I said the word cunt. Bam, 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 bam. How annoying do I get? Uh, the fact that no one talks to me. Mysterious bunker. What? Garus, Garus, Doc Barnaby. Okay, I thought I could see through the walls. Um, hey Peterson. Hmm. Never seen you before. Didn't send you an invite either. 
Doesn't matter, I suppose. If you're skilled enough to get in here, you're the kind of person I'd like on my clientele list. Please know the sentry bot and keep it at the back of your mind, just in case you ever have the urge to tell all your friends about this bunker. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, what do you have for sale? Of course. You know I like my gunrunners. <laughs> Literally. Oh, yeah. Now they're selling all of it. Uh... What do you have? You pretty much got a goddamn extensive list. Uh, you know what? Let's see if we can get some better off Optima. Uh, it's called No, actually. <laughs> you got any Arasaka rounds? Well, yes, you got 25 rounds. Uh, Dynamite, Dynamite. Uh, here's this. Here's... Some throwing spears. There you go. Why all the rules about who can and can't buy from you? Ah, uh, yes. The blacklist. While I do sell standard ballistic firearms here, you'll note that my primary stock is energy weapons. Is it? If you're at all familiar with the regional power players of the Mojave, you'll have heard of the Van Graaff family. They make a habit of murdering anyone else who thinks of selling energy weapons in their territory. Coincidentally, I'd rather they not know I exist. The NCR is just spiteful. They'd imprison me for life and raise the bunker, simply because it was built by the Enclave. As for the Brotherhood, it's a combination of both. Hatred for the bunker's architects, and a compulsion to own every single energy weapon there is. I find business is easiest when we keep things on a need-to-know basis. And, if I'm not mistaken, all you need to know is that my name is Peterson. Uh, I'm only asking it out of academic curiosity. Very well. This bunker's an old Enclave weapon storage depot. I'll assume you're familiar with their role in history. Both my mother and father were Enclave personnel. When things went to hell at Navarro, they deserted. They correctly assumed that, in all the chaos, no one would bother to check up on an old weapon depot miles from home. When they died, they left this place to me. Does that answer your question? Yes. Also, uh, God bless the Enclave. God bless America. Hey, Sentry Bot. You can't just reuse areas, that's not fun. Fuck you. I need to cut that out, that's too personal. <coughs> you know, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. Oh, Revis. Revis. Hello. Oh, hey, Jessup. Oh, nice 45. Revis. Everything cool? Yeah. Page is dead. Good job. That'll teach people what happens when you fuck around with the great cons. There's one more thing I need done, but you've done good work. Go and take some time for yourself. Get fucked up, get laid, then come on back. Okay. I'm done, I'm ready. Hey man, what's up? Listen, I need to borrow your time machine. <laughs> don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. The world depends on it. I have to find the clitoris. And I have to finish this mod review. Bye! Meep.
Me, 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 All right, you said you had a drop for me. I did. This one is heavy, my friend. You better bring your A game to the table, and a shitload of guns, and probably some extra bodies. But I talked it up, and we've decided that if you pull this off, we'll officially consider you one of us. So here's the deal. You've probably heard some rumblings about someone who calls himself Big Daddy for some <laughs> reason. Stupid fucking name. Indeed it is. This motherfucker is out of his mind. Completely psychotic. And he has it out for us for some reason. So, there's only one thing to do about it. He needs to die. We know where he's hiding, but there's a complication. He's locked up tighter than Mr. House's toilet. We need a key. You need a key. But I got a solution. Big dumb shits build himself a gang of raiders, thugs, and bounty hunters. And the leader of those bounty hunters is hanging around some bar in Outer Vegas. I'm willing to bet he has a key on him. So you kill him, get the key, and you got a clear shot to big dumb shit. Kill him and all his thugs, and you're officially one of us. Good luck, and don't get yourself killed. Gorse. Hope. Barnaky. Hey, bounty hunter. We hunt any bounties today? <laughs> Get ready. Holy shit. I forgot I am really spun. Not that spongy. Saul. Saul Goodman. Running. Saul and Sons. Freeze! Kill them all! Let God sort them out! I got this one. Frank Doyle! Okay. Frank Doyle. Word of warning. Colt Peacemaker. Fuck yeah. Oh, does it take the correctly 45? Oh. If it does, I'm gonna be... Oh, that's an extra bonus points. Pistolero. Oh, Pistolman. I don't speak Spanish. Um, uh, Garus. Gorus, you're such a homeboy. Uh. Oh. Peacemaker. Is it supposed to look like this? Um. Hello? Oh god, Bozo! Get, get me out of here! Bozo the fucking clown? Um, Paul. Saul. Ain't nothing but Aww. Than the Lord than the clothes on our backs and the guns in our sacks. And again, I ain't no hurry to meet him. Okay, so, cult peacemaker. So, let's just keep our clothes on and our guns low. Indeed we shall. Okay. Is my armor good? Armor still good. Making my way downtown, walking fast, trying not to get blasted. We. Dun na 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 na. Dun na 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 na. Dun. Dun na 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 na. Dun. Oh, I'm walking on air. I'm walk. There's my old house down there. I used to live in that submarine in the middle of Kentucky. Oh, 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 we used to live in that submarine. Yes, we did. Now I'm walking on air. Now I'm walking on air and I'm not 
going anywhere. Because this is my place that's me and mine. Oh, oh. Because this place is me and mine. Oh, oh, oh. This place is me and mine, and I ain't going anywhere. I ain't going anywhere. Buy now on Spot. Listen now on Spotify. I ain't going anywhere. By Lucky and Co. Hey, Legion! Big Daddy Psychopath. Um. Yeah! How about you fire that axe? Loser. Oh god. Go, 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 go! You ain't gonna win this. Had enough? Had enough, Pistero? Oh, I'm shooting a dead body. Loading! Barnaki, don't you die on me now. Come on. Give me that arm. Bonk. I called up some friends. Aha. Aha. Oh god. Load. Get him. Come on, Doc. Show him the power of the 45. Oh, where are you running to? Oh, oh, God, rape. I think me singing actually deafened myself. I leveled up. Oh boy. Uh, two points into unarm. Ooh. Why don't we go with... Commando. Yeah, I, I figured. I Am I surprised in the slightest? No. Hey, buddy. Oh, hi. You like that? You like... Oh, I'm sorry. Barnaki, no, I disarmed you! Did I? Bok. Bok! Barnaki, stay with me, buddy. Hope. Yeah, I figured 6.5 Arasaka wasn't going to do this much. And yet, I surprised myself. Door Shack. Shaquille! Oh, fuck. Barnaki, if you make it past this, uh... I don't want to... Bye. Doc! No! You sons of bitches! I'll kill you! Can just corner him. Beat the shit out of him! Yeah! Sorry, Hope. He killed Doc! Oh wow, he took wow, he took Barnaki's gun. Barnaki's 45 auto link in the description. No! Doc Bardicky, why? Why'd you have to die on me, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Ugh. Bad daddy's going to- oh, bad daddy. <laughs> Big daddy. <laughs> bad daddy. Um, hi there. Oh, fuck. 
Pull back, pull back. Come on. Oh, I've been using the wrong ammunition. Oh god, Gorus is down. Hold hold your ground, Hope. Hold your ground. Darn, my gun has zero recoil. Oh, I'm actually pulling the mag release. That's cool. There you go. Hope. Hope, don't you dare go down. We're in this together, Hope. Hope is unconscious. <laughs> Pulling back. That's what the power of a shotgun is for. That's not really doing what I would like. You like that? I'm sorry, hussy. Oh, hey, hussy. Pull back. Pulling back. Sayonara, bitch! Oh, fuck. Come on. Oh, God. Goris! Goris, I need you here, buddy! Oh, God, I'm fucked. A oh, 59? Damn, that's really good. My armor's fucked. <coughs> Take this, you son of a bitch! Oh, thank god I brought- Thank god I decided the Optima was the way to go. Come on. Pulling back. Goris! Goris, buddy, I need you to I need you to wake up. I need you to wake the fuck up. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I did kill him. You like that? How about some patriotism? Fuck. Yeah. Ah! Take that, you son of a bitch! Yeah! Look at that! Oh, oh shit. Ah! <laughs> Ow. Ah! Ow. How about we grand oh, slam? Fuck! Right in the testicles. Conditional acceptance. Rolled off letter. Blade of the best. Oh my god. Ow. Well. Yeah, he was definitely a legionnaire. Legion acceptance. Great con, great con, great con. Aha! Uh oh, word of warning. Did I read word? Frank, uh, you're not getting this only because we were brothers once out of that respect. I want you to turn yourself in, I promise. Oh, yeah, I'll pull strings to make sure you don't hang and no harm will come to your family. If you ignore this and go on with your raping and pillaging, then I have no recourse but to put you down like a dog in the street. Bobby Early. Upon consideration, the venerable Kaiser High Society would behoove the Legion to integrate such a proud and fierce warband. There are a multitude of rough pen marks here. <laughs> Extremely close examination suggests that the line Mighty Kaiser has was subject to this crude attempt. Oh, we're still. Mighty Kaiser has was subject to a crude attempt at erasure. The entire legion, from the Mighty Kaiser to the lowest capture, has heard many tales of your conquest. However, while your petition to join the legion does us great honor, and a who seek to join the legion must perform a task to prove their worth. In the case of the Big Daddies, the task is simple. One of your raiding parties will be in the area very soon. You will host them as guests. One of our 
uh, base operations, and when the time comes, you will bolster their numbers as they sack the profligate camp of Bitter Springs. Upon the destruction of the camp and the capture of the profligate cowering there, you will be welcomed to... Welcome addition to the solution. From entire Stone's Throater. Stone's Thunder. The next line is written in significantly more rushed hand as if it was last minute addition. Mighty Kazar has personally agreed to your request to decimate the Red Cons. They will be slaughtered to a man before the Battle of the Hoover Dam commences. I'm not sure how to address you anymore, Frederick. Nobody has ever called you Big Daddy when we ran together. Which brings me to my main point. I'm afraid joining your gang is out of the question. I have no doubt what you're doing is what you're doing well with it as anything less would be a significant change of your character for you. However, I've occupied myself with other things, and raiding lifestyle doesn't suit me anymore. I already have caps, a steady stream, in fact, so no, I will not be joining. In regards to your idea of joining the Legion, I'm struck by the notion that you're out of your fucking mind. You really expect that they'll name you a 71-year-old man, Legget Big Daddy? I'm sure you're going to ignore my advice, and while I do hope we can remain friends, I have a suspicion my honesty has offended you. I can... To let out such an insult, to let out, to let such an insult slide would be out of character for you. As such, if I ever see you again, I'll expect you'll be gunning for me. I hope you remember who is the faster pistol, who the faster pistol is, Frederick. I will kill you before you come for me. If, however, temperance is something you've learned at your old age, then I hope you'll still think of me as the son you never had. I'm not counting on it, Sheridan. Well, let's go talk to Rivas. Holy shit. How the fuck did you get that down here? Oh, Rivas. Of course. No, I'm not. I, I, I'm not going to say anything because I already got two good answers. Everything cool? Big Daddy is dead and gone. Fucking outstanding. Well, he's done. From now on... You're one of us. Wherever you go, know that your brothers and sisters in the Great Khans have your back. Don't worry about the tradition of beatdown. Far as I'm concerned, you already went through a beatdown, killing Big Daddy. Here's your very own cut. Wear it with pride. Also, we have an old safe house up around Bitter Springs. You're welcome to it, of course. See you around, my friend. See you. You've been... Bonus. Hey, Rivas. What's going on? Uh, got any work for me? You're shitting me, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, there's plenty of shit that needs to get done. Sorry, just not used to actual Patchton members actually being willing to help us out. Usually, I just have to make prospects do the bitch work. Speaking of which, I could use some help with that specifically. A girl came by here maybe a week ago. Cute little red-haired thing. She asked to join up out of nowhere. Never seen her before in my life. I gave her a delivery job. Nothing too big, but I'd like a fucking status update, you know? I need you to find her and see what's up. Finish the delivery if she got bored and fucked it up. The drop is supposed to be at... Um, right, Mojave Outpost, or whatever it's called. It's a place with the fucking NCR statues. Remember, girl, red hair. Hey, I don't... Watch out for those NCR douchebags all over the place. Hey, I don't have a very good reputation with, uh, redheads. What is my status with the NCR? Accepted. Thanks for letting me borrow the time machine, Barty. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. I mean, Al used to just save Jen and Steve, so we should be relatively good. Anyways, I gotta run. We're barbecuing at Hickory Ranch. I'll see you later. Mission updated. Operation commencing. Objective added. Escape dumpster.